Hurricane categories and how they're classified. As Irma barrels towards the US, it's now been upgraded from a tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane. Yikes! Hurricanes are classified into five categories based on wind speed. Wind speed is measured at a point 33 feet above the ground for one minute. In a Category 1, wind speeds are between 74 to 95 miles per hour, with minor home damage to be expected. With a Category 2 hurricane, wind speeds are between 96 to 110 miles per hour. A Category 3 has wind speeds between 111 to 129 miles per hour and has the potential to cause devastating damage. A Category 4 has wind speeds between 130 and 156 miles per hour. The last is a Category 5, which has wind speeds of 157 miles per hour and over. During a Category 5, there's a high percentage homes can be totally destroyed. With the US still reeling from the effects of Harvey, Hurricane Irma has become one of the strongest Atlantic hurricanes ever. Oh, great. What's a little wind and rain? Where will all that water go? Hurricane Harvey has released 14 to 15 trillion gallons of water on top of Houston since last Friday, and although the storm has left the city, the catastrophic flooding continues. Despite being flat and prone to flooding, Houston lacks a high-tech drainage system and relies on slow-moving creeks or streams called bayous to empty its floodwaters. The city's 10 bayous typically flow from west to east before going through the Houston Ship Channel into Galveston Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. The Attics and Barker Reservoirs were built in the 1940s to help contain flood water. But the Attics has been pushed past capacity, and the Barker may soon overflow as well. Given the speed and volume of the rainfall, surface soils become saturated quickly and are soon too full to take in any more water. This is made more difficult by the less absorbent concrete and asphalt that cover the city. Water cannot evaporate quickly either, given Houston's humid climate. And with slowly receding floods already soaking through items and property, the damage may be long-lasting. No one currently knows how long it will take for the floods to drain completely, with experts estimating it could take anywhere from a few days to possibly even weeks. Hurricane Harvey couldn't keep this dog down. As Hurricane Harvey swept through the state, a lost dog in Texas showed it takes more than a raging storm to beat it. Before Hurricane Harvey's landfall Friday night, Sinton resident Salvador Segovia left his grandson's German Shepherd mix Otis in his screened-in back porch. When Segovia went back to check on Otis later, he was gone. Segovia checked his porch the next day and noticed Otis's bag of dog food was missing. Segovia went looking for the dog and was told by a neighbor they saw Otis strolling around with a bag of dog food in his mouth. Fortunately, Segovia was able to track down the dog's whereabouts and bring him home before his grandson returned. A neighbor who saw Otis thought he was a stray and took a snap of him strolling around with the dog food and uploaded it to Facebook where the image went viral. According to Segovia, Otis is loved by the folks in Sinton and he's been helpful to Segovia's five-year-old grandson who often goes to the hospital for seizures and asthma. How Animals Are Surviving Hurricane Harvey As Hurricane Harvey dumped water all over Texas, humans weren't the only ones looking for relief. Animals of all shapes and sizes were caught in the downpour and had to be rescued along with everybody else. The rich animals were the lucky ones because they were able to get out before the rain hit. Blue-collared friends like Harvey the Hawk wasn't as fortunate. Heavy rains forced Harvey to hail a cab rather than take to the skies. Guess Harvey isn't a big Uber or Lyft fan. Gators have also been trying to escape all the wetness. Many have been seen hanging out in the burbs. And of course, man's best friend and our favorite feline companions were stuck just like everyone else. Oh, how oh, heartbreaking. We're talking about that poor cat stuck in the back. Not the old grandmas, although they're okay too. And it wasn't only the big animals looking for a helping hand during Tropical Storm Harvey. Insects were in on the action as well. Stay dry out there, folks. How Fire Ants Survive Floods People in and around the floodwaters from areas hit by Hurricane Harvey in Houston have begun to see colonies of floating fire ant rafts. To escape the rising water, fire ants quickly link together to form a raft. They lock their legs and bodies together tightly enough to trap air in the raft. 
The ants at the bottom are linked so closely together that no water can get through. The queen and the larvae are kept on top of the structure. The raft changes shape as it floats, with ants moving across the top and joining the stationary layer on the bottom. Fire ants can live in these structures for weeks or longer as they search for dry land.